Hey everybody, welcome back to our show this week. I'll tell you what, we've got another great show ahead of us here. We're fishing with our good friend Brian Zupke and Pete Huff. We're gonna be going out and doing some crappie fishing. So hold on to your heinies, let's see how today goes. Job. Now, what are you doing different than I am? I now might that, be. You look like gobble, Oh my gosh, he's got it. The last time I fished with you, Pete, you kicked our butts too. <laughs> we were down in Madison perch fishing over the winter. Nice little white crappie. They get much bigger than that, but that'd be a good eater. Yeah, it would. There you go. I still have gotten bit, but I still have not hooked up. There's a better one. Good color. That's pretty too. Hold that fish up and look at I love that little black underneath the yeah. belly there. They're one of the prettiest fish. Definitely. So, Pete, at one time it didn't seem like there was many white crappies in this lake. No, that's uh, they had a great hatch here. We've never stocked them, so they've come from a lake above us and uh, it's pretty cool. Be that's a beautiful fish. Here he goes. Pete. Finally, I got, you know what I did, Pete? I was watching you like always. So uh -huh. I did that when we were ice fishing too and I started catching them. So what Ooh, I did is I just slowed it way down. Right. That is awesome. Let him come and eat it. Oh, oh yeah. White. That is there, a nice oh, fish wow, right there. Tank. <laughs> we are, oh, check this out, everybody. That is cool. And what a fun way to catch them, too. Just casting these baits and just really slow retrieving. Like I said, I was winding way too fast. And Pete said, slow it down. I was watching his real rotation on uh, when he was cast and then wind him back in and boy he just had it barely moving and that fish just clicked it. So I'm using a beetle spin. I haven't used a beetle spin probably till I was since I was like 10 years old. And Pete's got a show yours Pete. He's got the road runner. Road runner. And he hasn't used one since, since I was 12. Yeah. 30 years ago. So. Yeah. So this is bringing back childhood memories. You know, these fish are so stacked in here. This is, you know, this is this is a fun way to catch them. You know, and bobbers are fun too because you know you get to watch the float go down, but watching them or get them in the whack of beetle spin and a road on it is something else. It's something awesome. Oh, that's a, a good one. one. That's a big that's one. That's a oh, 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 show it Pete, that is a toad for sure. That is oh, definitely a nice fish. It's a lot easier when that wind does back yeah. off too. Hold that one up to hunter. I mean, that's a giant right there. For a white crappie, that's no doubt casting an for crappies. Giant. Look at the back on them. It's like. It's like dandy. A, that's like a 12 inch white crop. There he goes. You got one too, Larry? No. Perfect. Going back. Pooch. Built for fishermen, built by fishermen. Um, really, that says it all. It's the family here. It's, it's not a big, big conglomerate. It's a family. They treat you, you feel like you're in a family, you know. When you put those two together, an amazing product and amazing people, it's just the type of company you want to be involved with. Not only because of just the great boats, but because of the camaraderie that the Warrior family has. The customer service is amazing. Uh, they never leave you hanging. So come join the Warrior family. Right where Pete's casting, you can see all the rocks down there. So those fish are probably holding on those rocks. Nice job, Pete. Boy, you got that dialed in big Yep, time. yep. Thing with crappies, once you figure out a technique and kind of where they're at, just keep doing it. Another good looking crappie. Very nice. White crappie, perfect. Mix it up a little bit, put a little beaver tail chartreuse on here. Now, <laughs> let's see what happens. Someone's following Pete, Pete. One's following your bait. 
See that? One is absolutely following it. Ooh, that's Junk another here. tank. Zoop, you're letting them kill us. <laughs> right? You're watching the locator and Pete's, Pete's catching them. <laughs> another dandy. Whoa, that is a nice one. Fish. You know what I did, oh, Pete? I sped it up a little bit that time. I was I wasn't having much luck going real slow. Boy, whatever this is, definitely got some. Oh, oh look at him jump! Big mouth bass. That's <laughs> hey, I'll take that any day of the week, man. <laughs> nice bass. I'll take that any day of the week, right there. That's a nice bite. Too. There we go. Gotta love that. Look at the sucks of that. So far. Bass, lots of crappies, lost a nice walleye, lots of action. Not too bad for a little afternoon here. I don't know, I, I, well my opinion, I think the white crappies are more of a minnow chaser, like in deeper lakes, they are way higher in the water column and they're out chasing shiners, where your black crappies are kind of more closer to the bottom or deeper in the water column and they, they don't rip around like a white crappie will. Um, and their markings. Black crappies typically are, well, they're much more black, but they uh, they don't have that nice color up on their back like a white crappie would. Hey, 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 Pete! Woohoo! Oh, oh, Petey! Broke off. Oh, hey, I'll tell you what, Pete. You know what? I love Pete. Hey, Pete. What's that? I love you're breaking off your baits like crazy. I love because they're Zupke's baits. Wow. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, you're right. It's, uh, it, I would feel bad if they were my baits or if they were your baits. No. But when they're Zupke's baits, All it's good. not so bad, All you know? Good. Right? Wow. I tell you, like I said, you know what? We fished this winter with Brian and, and Pete, and Pete, you are definitely, a, a, you know what? You're you're like, that's what I love, because you're like Brian. You're very passionate about the outdoors, and fishing yeah. is definitely something that once you're hooked on it, it is the best drug of all. Without a doubt. No yeah. doubt, I it's enjoy healthy. showing people some stuff here and there when you take them out. And and just seeing the smile on people's faces is really what I'm all about. No, and that's cool, and that's what yeah, our yeah, show is yeah. about, yeah. and that's what life's all about. Yeah. You want the rock? Hey, I'll give it no, back to no, you. Are you sure? <laughs> I don't have no problem. I just wanted to see if the fire line was the deal. You know, it's definitely, I was watching Pete before, and it's definitely the retrieve is everything. Just a really slow retrieve, and every once in a while, if I'm not bumping, I'll stall it just for a split second, let it come down a little bit and pick back up on it. But definitely, you know, before I was trying to keep my line too tight too, and the wind's not blowing super strong. It's probably, you know, maybe five to eight miles an hour. And uh, Pete said, just keep that bow in your line. And that that's definitely key, having that, that bow in your line. And what we're using basically is 16th ounce jig, eighth ounce jigs, um, depends on where you're casting and uh, just a small twister tail on there. And what he's got on this rod right here is just got some super braid with about a six pound fluorocarbon leader on there. Uh, only about a two foot leader. The water is pretty stained here today. Uh, so it's not probably real crucial to have a real long uh, fluorocarbon leader, but it always, I think it's more of a mindset than anything. And then again, it's just that retrieve. And uh, Pete had her dialed in and I'm just trying to mimic what he was doing. Another good one, Pete. Nice. Ooh, <laughs> that is another beautiful crappie. And I'll tell you, there's something special about crappie fishing. Look how pretty that fish is. I love all the essence through the, the fins and on the back right there. These fish are extremely healthy. You know, again, these are all pre-spawn uh, crappies, and so we're letting them all go right now. Um, but man, oh man, it's just fun catching them. And just, uh, it's kind of cool because, you know, it seems like we catch four or five crappies and all of a sudden it'll be a bass or, and you had that nice walleye on before. You broke off several times. Let's get this guy back in and uh, away we go. Hey, what was I telling you guys? Uh, these two guys are absolutely awesome fishermen. You know that Pete Huff, he is definitely dialed in every time we fish with them. You want to give Pete a call for some great guiding? Here's his number down below.